Welcome everybody. My name is Gilbert Mendoza. I'm a senior iManage engineer with Cornerstone Information Technology. And today I'd like to highlight one of iManage's newer offerings, which is iManage Drive. So now depending where your firm is in the ecosphere of iManage, um, you may be familiar with the what are now referred to as the classic clients of file site and desk site, um, or you may have upgraded hopefully to work 10 and you're now using uh, iManage in a web-based application which is awesome. So anyway in those products you're used to working with Matter workspaces which organize your content into logical folders structures and uh, what iManage Drive will do for you is it will offer you that same folder structure in a Windows Drive context. So uh, that can be a huge benefit and there are a number of use cases where the content in the document management system uh, in the classic clients isn't able, we're not able to get it out in the right way without exporting it to a desktop or to a drive uh, in order to let's say file documents to a court site. Uh, or you know take a number of files and zip them up they have to be extracted first and then processed in whatever workflow uh, you would need that for so the beauty of the drive I manage drive is that it essentially provides that Windows Drive um, format and you don't have to export the, the content because you can see it in the drive so let's go to some demos and some use cases and uh, I hope you like the product. It's uh, a really, really nice piece of uh, new software for my manage. So the first thing I'd like to chat about would be what I manage drive or how I manage drive looks to a user and how it's different but the same uh, from the classic clients and from work 10 which I'm showing on the screen here. So on the left side of the screen here I have a work web showing and I'm pointed to the my matters list uh, and on the right I have a mapped drive. The M drive is the default drive that iManage drive uses um, and I can synchronize matters from the recent matter list and from the my matters list. So so on the left is three matters showing in the my matter list and then through synchronization of iManage Drive those same three matters have been synchronized over to Drive. So the representation, so I will just drill into the first one here, the Microsoft versus US Department of Justice and note that there are these folders here alphabetically listed. So if we open up that same workspace in Drive we also see that the same folders are represented here. Okay, if I open up the administrative folder, I'm going to see some documents here, and on the right in Drive, I'm going to see the exact same thing. So that's how it's represented. Uh, the benefit on the right side is if I wanted to add a document here, I could just, you know, if I had it in an email or if I had it in another drive, I could drop and drag a document to this folder and that would show up for me in iManage Drive. Another use case we can use is, I'm going to pull up another drive here. So I've got a, let's say I received a document review that has some structure in it. Inside of it, it's got documents in the separate folders, uh, and I want to bring those into iManage. So with Drive, I can literally just copy or move, I'm going to drag here, and drop those into this administrative folder in Drive. And so what you'll see is that whole structure will get copied to my iManage source 
And then just to show how that would look in iManage, let me refresh this administrative folder where we dropped the document review here. And you will see that that is now represented as a document folder with the two folders inside of it and the document inside of it and then the documents inside of that. So that is a, a wonderful use case. So people can utilize the drive folders as opposed to working in the client. Um, I know there have been some, at least in the marketing of this product, there are users who just won't use the clients. You may have somebody who is resistant to the clients, but they're used to working in a structure like this. So this uh, can also be something that can actually get people to adopt uh, using iManage uh, without, you know, without resistance because it feels and looks just like something they're pretty much used to. So another use case I can think of is imagine you had content that you needed to send to your co-counsel, whomever you needed to send the content to. So I'll just take this discovery folder, for example. So let's say we needed to zip this information up and provide it to the client. Well, we would have to perhaps, you know, select them all and email them maybe through iManage. Uh, we could do that, but maybe that it's too large to do that. So we're going to have to export it and put it into a file sharing service, either iManage Share or another service that you might be using. It's a little bit more cumbersome to do that in the classic clients or in Work 10. So if we would go over to the Manage Drive folders, uh, we can go back to that document re review that I just imported and imagine that the documents needed to be zipped up and sent to opposing counsel, co-counsel, whomever you would need to send those to, off to. Right here in Drive, you can zip up a file just like you would zip it up in a regular, a regular Windows scenario and save that off. And that would then show up as a zip file. in the corresponding iManage folder. So we have our notification zip file there. And then that could be exported or shipped up to iManage Share or whatever sharing service you may happen to be using to get that large zip compressed file off to whomever we needed to get that to. Another great use case is linked files, like a linked workbook in Excel. So I've got two spreadsheets here. The one on the left is the annual totals that come from these quarterly reports that are separated out by year. So each one of these totals essentially is a formula that links back to the total on that particular for that particular year. So now this is a great uh, tool that you can use with Excel that is not available if you're using desk site or file site or work 10 because the files don't live um, on a drive and in, in the same way that uh, Excel or an, a Microsoft product would be able to to cross reference those those files. So if we have that representation here, we're not going to be able to use those linked files. And so that actually keeps certain folks from using iManage that, you know, accounting or um, different practice areas that might need that functionality. So right there, we're taking the content out of the matter and uh, ideas to keep it all together, right? So if you then use that same function, but you're using iManage Drive, so I've got those two files here, it sees it as a relative, uh, 
Microsoft is going to see the files and the formulas as relative to the to the drive that they're in or to the folder that they're in in this case. So you can actually use that functionality with iManage Drive and add that to your um, you know your enterprise's abilities with iManage and keeping that content whether you're a cloud customer or an on-prem customer the very idea of keeping all this content together in one place uh, is rather important uh, for discoveries and so on and so forth. So by adding iManage Share to your repertoire of software tools for your users, you can really increase their ability to use Microsoft functionality that uh, the other clients don't allow them to use because of the way the files are stored. So this is a great use case uh, for certain departments or practices that need this functionality and would like to keep matter material together. Thank you so much for tuning into this iManage Drive video. Uh, a few points I'd like to make before we conclude. One, iManage Drive is mapped by default to the M drive, as I said earlier. So just as a point of information, you can map it to any available drive uh, that you wish. So it doesn't have to be M. Also to note that iManage Drive content on the PC is fully encrypted. So that should not be a concern if encryption is a concern. Thirdly, uh, content in Drive is a stub by default and the document will come down to the PC when opened. If you'd like to cache all of the content locally, you can also do that. So that takes up a little bit more space, but um, if you were going offline on an airplane, whatever, uh, that would be a useful thing to do, would be to cache it locally. And then when you do reconnect to an internet uh, connection, you would have a two-way sync in both directions. And that would synchronize any changes you made up to the DMS, so your colleagues would see your changes. And then any changes your colleagues made would come down to your drive. And if there were a conflict between something you changed and somebody else changed the same document, there is a tool and a process for fixing that uh, or resolving that conflict. Okay. So thank you again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or use cases you'd like to ask about, about in iManage Drive, please reach out to me directly. My email address is Gilbert dot Mendoza at cornerstone dot IT or you can email cornerstone information technology at the address provided on the screen. So thank you very much. Have a great day.